Well, good morning and welcome to another day at 365. And today, I'm, uh, well, the saga of internet wiring continues. The house internet with the ISP got up and running the other day. However, the new ethernet line that I ran under the house and all that good stuff uh, still doesn't work. I'm fairly new to the world of terminating ethernet cables and apparently I suck at it. One end here data stuff and new, newly run ethernet cable apparently the wiring in the uh, I, I don't know though the way I terminated the wiring uh, is completely backwards uh, the RJ45 connector was completely upside down when I stuck the wires in it so this one is definitely backwards and not working uh, so I'm yeah I don't know the other end I'm questioning as well so I will fix this end and then we will test the other end and we'll see what we're working with uh, one way or another I only have eight wire combinations at each end I'm gonna get this thing working today one way or another All right, that there, I believe, is the correct configuration. Now I just need to make sure that the connector is the right way up this time, and all should be well on this end of the line. All right, cables are in the right order. Um, they're stuck in the jack. It's time to do some crimping now. And that should do it. We'll take it out and we'll test it and see what happens. Well, I re-terminated the end in the closet properly this time. I uh, got everything wired up and we're going to give it a test. So we uh, use VoIP, um, so home phone hasn't been working without internet. So I'm going to try from my cell phone. I'll try calling the home phone and see if it works. Sounds like I got it. Well, the data cabling's done. I'm on to working on the coaxial cable again. I attempted to get the HD antenna installed on the weekend, and it turns out that the antenna that I purchased was missing the transformer. I have ordered a replacement transformer, because it's a lot cheaper to just order a part than it is to, like, replace the entire frickin' antenna. So hopefully that arrives in the next day or two, but in the meantime, I'm gonna finish the interior cabling. Um, somewhere in the abyss, I have a channel master signal booster that I need to find and get installed in the house. That is a critical component for me to get everything up and running. So I get to go digging and see if I can find it. Well, I looked all over the place in here and I still can't find it. I honestly don't even remember what kind of box or bin or bag or anything that I put it in. So I'm going to move on to the back garage and see if anything looks familiar. I have no idea. I'll keep looking see if I can find it. Well, I've spent quite a bit of time looking for this thing. I have no idea where it is. I guess when the parts for the antenna come, I'm going to try wiring it without the signal booster and see how the signal is, if it's still weak. Um, I don't know. I'll either keep looking or I'll order a new one, I guess. I, I don't know. I have no idea where it is. The joys of moving. Hi, guys. I actually haven't been in the vlog at all today. It is time to deal with this. I've cut John's hair on the vlog before, it's just a time lapse, but I'm gonna actually tell you today how I do this. I have been cutting John's hair since he was a baby, since his very first haircut. I've been cutting Brian's hair for 11, 12 years at this point, 10 years at least. Since I was a baby too. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, I literally just use clippers. This is the easiest way you can do a boy's haircut. I use clippers, I use the, the guards, just as they come and I don't use scissors at all like almost ever. John kind of likes his hair a little bit longer now so I think I'm gonna have to start using scissors but for now I'm gonna show you how I do the absolute easiest version of a DIY at home haircut. It could not be easier. You'll probably be a little, I don't know, trepidatious about it the first few times, but you get used to it, you get real comfortable. It's not hard at all. And I'm gonna show you how I do his at-home haircuts. All right, first, 
I start with a number two clipper and I do this part of his hair, the back and the sides and I only come up a little bit. One tip I can give is that when you get close to the spot where you want to switch to the next guard is to rock the clippers and it helps you fade like this. All right, next I'm switching to a number five guard so I can do a gradual fade into the longest part of his hair. And again, I am rocking as I get close to the longest part of his hair. Going up to a seven to fade further into the longest part of his hair. Okay, so most clipper sets only go up to a size eight. And if you're doing just a straight up cut, you'll just do the rest of the hair with that guard and the whole top will be that length. I'm gonna do another round of like gradual and rocking because he's been wearing it a little bit longer lately and I really want the absolute top of it to stay a little bit longer and then I'm gonna hit the bangs with some scissors. And the last thing you want to do is go bare clipper and we're just going to clean up his neck, sideburns, and around his ears. And that's it. That's how you do the easiest DIY back to school haircut at home there is. <laughs> that's it for today's vlog guys. If you liked our video give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you like our video. Give us, give us a comment down below. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.